Welcome to this service of spiritual communion. Uh, you're very welcome to join in the words which are in bold type, uh, but also to uh, listen and reflect uh, as we share together during this week of Thy Kingdom Come. At the end of the service there is uh, a video recording of Matt Redman singing Blessed Be Thy Name um, and I hope that you'll find that really uplifting as well. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. As we find a quiet space set aside at this time, we pause to reflect. What good things have come from God today? Where have I fallen short? What might I do tomorrow? Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions, but think on me in your goodness, O Lord, according to your steadfast love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. O keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have put my trust in you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you your sins, and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. Risen, ascended Lord, as we rejoice at your triumph, Fill your church on earth with power and compassion, that all who are estranged by sin may find forgiveness and know your peace, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Some verses from Psalm 68. Look, the little tribe of Benjamin leads the way. Then comes a great throng of rulers from Judah and all the rulers of Zebulun and Naphtali. Summon your might, O God. Display your power, O God, as you have in the past. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. Sing praise. Sing to the one who rides across the ancient heavens, his mighty voice thundering from the sky. Tell everyone about God's power. His majesty shines down on Israel. His strength is mighty in the heavens. God is awesome in his sanctuary. The God of Israel gives power and strength to his people. Praise be to God. And our Gospel reading from John chapter 17. Now I am departing from the world. They are staying in this world, but I am coming to you. Holy Father, you have given me your name. Now protect them by the power of your name so that they will be united just as we are. During my time here, I protected them by the power of the name you gave me. I guarded them so that not one was lost except the one headed for destruction, as the scriptures foretold. Now I am coming to you. I told them many things while I was with them in this world so that they would be filled with my joy. I have given them your word, and the world hates them because they do not belong to the world just as I do not belong to the world. I'm not asking you to take them out of the world but to keep them safe from the evil one. They do not belong to this world any more than I do. Make them holy by your truth. Teach them your word, which is truth. Just as you sent me into the world, I am sending them into the world. And I give myself as a holy sacrifice for them, so they can be made holy by your truth.
in a week when events make us think about what truth is for us, Jesus says, make them holy or sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. Jesus expects his father to use the truth to sanctify his followers. The father will immerse Jesus' followers in the revelation of himself in his son. Indeed, the Holy Spirit will guide them into all truth. Set apart from the world, set aside for God's service to live in conformity with the truth. The word of revelation is given to us. Mediated through Jesus, who is the way, the truth and the life. How much this contrasts with a worldly heart which denies the truth. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we lift to you all those who are suffering through physical and mental ill health. We pray, Father, for all those who grieve the loss of loved ones. And for those who are serving others in the NHS and social care. For all the local communities across our area for continuing resilience and the spirit to work together for the common good. For parents and teachers caring for children as they learn at home. And during this half term for refreshment for all and for wisdom in the planned return to our schools next week and the week after. And Father, we pray for those who are lonely and isolated, even in our close knit communities, there are those who are struggling. We pray for all those separated from family and friends. For businesses, both large and small, which are struggling at this time. Pray for our own agricultural college at Penrith, Lord, for your will to be done. We pray for our spiritual and political leaders both in the UK and in other parts of the world. And in the wider world, where there is so much heartache and distress, we remember especially Uganda, Russia and Brazil today. And we join our prayers together as we say, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. We give thanks for the saving death and resurrection of Jesus and ask him to be with us now. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your disciples, I am with you always. Be with me today as I offer myself to you. 
hear my prayers for others and for myself and keep me in your care. Amen. We pray, Lord, in these days of mercy, make us quiet and prayerful. In these days of challenge, make us stronger in you. In these days of emptiness, take possession of us. In these days of waiting, open our hearts to the mystery of your cross. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you most humble and hearty thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness. We bless you for our creation, preservation and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And give us, we pray, such a sense of all your mercies that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful and that we show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Okay, let's bless the name of the Lord in this place today. One voice, one choir, coming before one God, one name above every name, one throne. Blessed be the name. Blessed be you.